We are the second largest brewery in Kansas City, but also the largest locally owned brewery in Kansas City since our major competitor was bought out by a foreign uh, company about three years ago. Our, our business model is based on brew authentic German styled beer with the freshness of beer locally brewed. So we import all our malt, our yeast and the hops from Germany. The water is local. And very important is uh, we brew according to the German purity law from 1516, so only these four ingredients go into the beer. <laughs> Well, the craft beer industry right now, and I think it goes back to the time when in America 30 years ago you could only get a, a pale lager, which is sort of an emasculated version of a, of a German lager. And so craft brewers, I think, wanted to get totally away from German style beer, so they really focused on brewing um, English and Belgian style ales and lagers, which take longer to make and a lot more refrigeration and conditioning time were sort of ignored. Uh, but I think people like our beer specifically because I, I think we have uh, a good, rich, deep flavor in our beers, but they're also drinkable. Our three main year-round styles are only 5% alcohol, but they deliver uh, the combination of flavor and drinkability that you don't find in a lot of craft beers that are really focused on a lot of hoppy, high alcohol uh, beer. So w we have a loyal following, I think, of people that still enjoy drinking beer as a refreshing uh, drink to have when you're thirsty. This is going to take like five minutes or so. I think ten minutes. Malt's especially important because the growing conditions in Central Europe are much cooler and wetter than they are in the dry, hot North American Great Plains. So it, just like grapes and wine, there's a terroir that comes with the growing conditions and soils with malt. So to make an authentic tasting uh, German style beer, I think you need to use German malts just as the same with, with the hops and the special sort of delicate noble quality that German hops give to our beer. So for our ales, like the Hefeweizen and the Weizenbock, we use different hops, we use different beer, we use a different ratio of malt. The Helles, our lager beer, and the Dunkel, our best-selling beer, um, we use just a different ratio according to the recipe. There are a lot of recipes out there, but our head brewer, he's very familiar and he tweaked the recipes to, yeah, get a good product out of it. We make, there's basically two major styles of beer, ales, or in Germany as they would say, top fermenting or lager beer, uh, bottom fermenting. Lagers ferment cold, slows down the metabolism of the yeast and the beer tastes longer to make, but it's that slow fermentation that produces those mild, crisp, mellow flavors. So our lager beers take anywhere from five to six weeks for our Dunkel and Hellas to as much as eight weeks for our higher alcohol lagers like the Winterbach. The Hefeweizen we can make in about uh, three weeks. That's a top fermenting, warm fermenting beer. Um, we have three signature beers, the Helles, our lager beer, the Dunkel, the dark lager and the Hefeweizen. And we do have about five seasonal beers over the year, like Maibock, Oktoberfest beer, Winterbock, Pils. And um, sometimes we brew in that little, our little fermenter, we brew special beers um, for the beer hall only because it's too small for distribution. And our head brewer Carlton Graham, he is very creative in looking for, you know, special beers which you cannot find in a normal brew pub or restaurant. The best selling beer in distribution, distribution means when we, when we sell beer to bars through wholesaler to bars and restaurants and grocery stores is um, our Dunkel. It's a dark lager beer, 5% alcohol. It's really very good. Yes. Dunkel is by far the best selling beer. About 70% of all the beer we make is Dunkel. So I think initially, uh, because Dunkel is, is a dark brown lager, it looked more exotic than our pale 
uh, Munich style lager or, or a Hefeweizen. So I think people were attracted to try that and I th then I think they really liked it because of the malts we use. We have a very full, rich, malty, balanced, uh, drinkable, uh, dark beer with lots of flavor that's still e easy drinking and not too bitter. And I think people just enjoy it for the flavor and the refreshment that it provides. So this is, this is our brew house. It's a 30 barrel system. So with one batch, that's how we call it, we brew 30 barrels of beer. Right now we brew twice a day. And with two, two uh, batches, we fill one 60 barrel fermentation tank. Uh, and to give you a little um, an idea, so in total we sell about 800 to 900 barrels a month to bars, restaurants, hotel, grocery stores, liquor stores. Uh, currently in this space with our cellar capacity we can make about um, 18,000 uh, barrels of beer a year. Uh, when we fully install all the tanks that we can fit in we can make around 20, 22,000 barrels. So I, I think in a couple years we may reach that limit. So we, we are looking for a second location to put a second brewery to increase our production capacity. So right now we, we try to be, have a good penetration in Kansas City. The only non out of the metroplex is St. Joseph and Lawrence. So because we cannot brew enough beer right now to supply the demand in the city, we want to stay in the city and get a better penetration. So we have 700 bars, 400 grocery stores. Uh, where we sell our beer and if we have satisfied the market in in Kansas City in the Metroplex maybe next year we'll do the next step and get outside of the city we do uh, small plates food so funny story is when we developed the business plan five, four or five years ago the idea was just to sell really just a small plates the bartenders can prepare the food on the side and sell it, but as we started business, the customers in the beer hall and in the beer garden asking for more food. So we added sausages, we buy the pretzels from Munich, uh, we do uh, weekend specials like schnitzel now. So our food sales is increasing and increasing. It's not so much what we want to do because we're not in the food business, but it's part of the business to sell more beer. I'm a big fan of German food, yes. It's, um, I, when I travel in Germany and I go to s small towns and visit smaller breweries, I'm always impressed by the quality of the bakeries, the local butcher shops, and just the, the quality uh, of the, of, and freshness of the homemade food that you get in the local restaurants and cafes and things. I, I am a super fan of German food. Yeah, we did a lot of testing and tasting of of German style sausages in the beginning of course and uh, I think we found so we have maybe too much vendors too many vendors where we buy the sausage from this one and that sausage from this one and that sausage from this one but we try to be as authentic as possible same with the beer I moved to Dallas 16 years ago I lived in Dallas for about 10 years I lived in New York City in Chicago and four years ago we decided, my business partner Steve and I, we decided to open a brewery. So he early retired, I quit my job and we moved to Kansas City. Back to Kansas City for him because he was raised in Kansas City. And then we opened the brewery. Oh, 15 years ago I had this idea that I'd like to own a brewery someday so I took retirement when I was 55. Uh, moved back to my hometown, Kansas City, and then Jurgen and I opened the brewery. We started brewing beer in December 2013, and we sold our first glass of beer in the tasting room in February of 2014. Yeah, since basically since the second year on, we expanding in um, in uh, buying more tanks and more tanks. 
to have a, a better output or a larger output per month.